All right, so the one thing I've noticed when people are moving to Seattle, Washington, anywhere around here, is trying to figure out the perfect spot for them. Today, we're going to be talking about Redmond. This is an area that we get a ton of people asking about, so I'm going to bring up the map. That's why you see me on the computer. People are really liking these videos, so I'm going to show you all of the areas of living in Redmond, Washington, so stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on everybody this is jackson ray wilkie with the real agent now group right here in seattle washington if this is your first time to this channel and you want to learn everything about working eating sleeping living and playing anywhere in the seattle metro then start now by subscribing to this channel and tap that little bell so you're notified every time i do a new video and yes we are getting so many phone calls emails text messages of people moving and relocating and trying to find the perfect spot for them so if you are thinking about moving relocating anywhere around here. Make sure you give me a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even send the Seahawk. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to the Seattle Metro. All right, so I'm going to bring up this map and we're going to really dissect Redmond. Uh, there's a lot going on there, as many people know. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to switch the screens and we will jump into it. All right, so as you can see, Redmond is right there in the center of the screen and that's where we will start. So if we zoom in here, Redmond, Washington, right downtown here, it's got Redmond Way. If I keep going, right here. This is the main, main street right here. So um, you have this Cleveland Street. This kind of creates this oblong shape here, and it is loaded to the gills with shops, restaurants, bars, Orange Theories for you know yoga, a lot of workout stuff. It's very active. Um, you have the you know Redmond Center uh, connector here, the park. So you actually see a lot of people out in these areas just walking, riding bikes, reading books. Um, a lot of the younger people are moving in here. That's what we're seeing. Uh, the downtown Redmond scene is really starting to get um, fun. It's cool. And we see a lot of retired people there too because it just kind of has everything. You don't really need to go anywhere. And I think that's what, you know, Redmond, Bellevue, a lot of these areas have really done lately because so much commerce and so many jobs are coming there. Hey, they build these really cool downtown scenes. You don't need to go anywhere. So if you're looking for, you know, condo, that kind of living, downtown Redmond is where that's going to be. So I wanted to first touch on, you know, the majority of the reason why a lot of people are moving here and a community of Redmond. And it sits literally right in between Bellevue and Redmond. So you got Bellevue here, um, very popular. This whole area is just exploding. Lots of jobs, lots of big, good jobs. And that's what I wanted to talk about. Overlake, this is literally, you know, part of it actually on the east side of its boundaries here uh, shares Marymore Park. So you get the biggest park right here um, in basically the Seattle Metro. That Marymore is just ginormous. Lots of parks, trails, everything, ball fields. Overlake has Nintendo, Microsoft, um, I did this in the other video, so if you saw this, it is absolutely fascinating. So if you type in Microsoft right here, I mean, you can just see them all lined up right here. So a lot of different buildings. Nintendo's in here, like I said, too. So um, if you want to literally live right by where you work, and if it's at one of these, like the Overlake area, Redmond area, that's where you're going to want to be. But let's let's start talking about you know some of the other areas of Redmond. If you go just north of Redmond, Right here, this green spot, this is going to be the Sammamish Valley. It's literally just north of, of downtown. But the cool thing about this, and I'll click the satellite, it is literally like all farm country. So that's why, you know, the actual median home price in this area is going to be about $1.4 million. And that's because, well, like I said, you know, you get a lot of farm country in here. There's really big homes. You, if you zoom in, you'll see you have, you know, off the branch farm and the nurseries and everything right there so it's just kind of a really cool pocket that's uh just north of downtown you're minutes from downtown redmond really close to downtown seattle and you're like in farm country i will note i do love golf if you've seen my videos willow run golf complex right here um that's a really good one for you know families beginners it's actually a pretty nice course but that's where you can get a lot of the lessons and stuff you'll see that there and that brings me to right to the literally to the west of it. This is probably one of the biggest neighborhoods in Redmond. 
if not the biggest, this Willow Rose Hill. So it stretches all the way north up into here and south coming down, you know, kind of close to the Marymore Park. So this whole Rose Hill, um, people absolutely love this. This is kind of, if you want to move and get the nature, have cul-de-sacs, you know, so your kids can play out in the street, out in the driveways. Um, that's where we find this right here. You'll, you'll find some, you know, bigger prop, bigger yards, bigger lots in this area. I will show you the map here. See how you're kind of bordered by all these trees. So there's lots of little trails and, and hiking and it's just really fun, you know, and you're literally next to golf courses. You're right to, you know, downtown Redmond. So we definitely see a lot of people and it's one of the biggest neighborhoods in Redmond. So just to the north of it, if you like wineries and all that, it's just right here, Woodenville. As you can see, see how green this gets all around here. So uh, again, if you want privacy, but you want to be close to things, you want to be close to your work, just outside of here, I, you know, Woodenville, any of these areas right here are going to be a good, um, like English Hill, good area for that. You can kind of see how the streets wind right here. That's going to uh, enable you to have those bigger lots, bigger homes, quiet cul-de-sac kind of stuff. If that's what you're going for, you can see just south here in the in like North Redmond, it gets really tight. This is um, you know going to be packed with families and stuff. Really cool area. So what we'll do is um, we'll keep working. We're gonna just kind of go south. Education Hill is just loaded with schools. It's literally why it's called that. And you have Redmond High School right there. So all right. So as you can see, you know Education Hill um, right here. You've got a lot of parks in here as well. And there's actually a trail that that leads you. You can see all these dotted lines. Um, that's really anywhere around here. It, it's tough to see from the map and even the satellite, um, but there's just so many trees, lots of water, rivers, but you can take, you know, right out of here, out of Education Hill, like any of these neighborhoods around here and hit right to the Sammamish River and that gets you to the Burke Gilman Trail, um, right along the Sammamish Valley, all that, that takes you all the way to downtown Seattle. Unbelievable. Education Hill is where we see a lot of people buying houses. As you can see on this map, it is loaded. You're one and a half miles from downtown uh, Redmond. So really cool there. And now what we'll do is just head to the east here. I kind of like this, this view of the satellite, but Bear Creek, um, again, is going to be a little bit quieter. You have so many parks, this whole area right here. You know, you can see there's like volleyball parks right there, Perigo Park. Um, so this is going to be a lot more quiet and, you, and the housing is going to kind of branch up into uh, Education Hill. So you have all these ponds. This is going to be a lot more quiet. You're not going to have any, you know, shops or anything really right down uh, in this area. So at Bear Creek here, then you're also close commute to, and I just wanted to mention it. If you go up here, this is Bear Creek um, Country Club, probably one of the nicest courses in Washington. So if you want golf course living uh, right on the course, this is where you want to be. Like it is just unbelievable here. Beautiful homes, like perfect greens. It's a really fun little golf community. Um, as you click it, you'll see. Look at the the bear the bear claw sand trap. Really cool. So yeah, that that's a really fantastic area. I really wanted to show you. And you can see how tree and wooded it is. That is because this whole area, as you zoom out, is like that. Um, Cottage Lake, Woodenville again, this whole area is going to be wineries. So even if you live Redmond, Bellevue, any of these areas, you're really close up here to, you know, a lot of these wine countries. And it's just really becoming something popular. There's a lot of breweries, brew pubs, um, wineries, and they're family friendly. Take the kiddo. We take the family um, and kiddos all the time to these. All right. And another thing I wanted to mention, so you got downtown Redmond here and over here to the uh, northeast, you have the Redmond watershed over here and this trilogy at Redmond Ridge. If you are retiring older, like this is a retirement community. Um, you know, there's a lot of, there's adults only golf courses here, this trilogy at Redmond and the golf club. I'm talking indoor pools, um, tennis courts, racket courts. There's a lot of fitness programs, swimming programs. And they actually, I mean, it's, it's for adults, but they do have some hours every once in a while to bring like the grandkiddos and stuff. So this is going to be your super quiet community golf course and the trilogy at Redmond Ridge. It's going to be unbelievable for your, a lifestyle. Um, you, you'll kind of have to cruise to downtown. You know, obviously you have a little bit going on right here. You got your QFC and stuff, but Redmond's going to hold the rest of everything you need for a downtown scene. But 
very private in here. Gorgeous views. You got um, all these trails up and around here and living on the golf course. All right, Redmond, just like any other part in the Seattle Metro, is pretty difficult to find your perfect spot if you're moving here. I'm trying to do my best with all of these videos, but that is our job. We are helping so many people move here and find their perfect location, whether it's downtown Seattle or any of the suburbs around it. But in order for us to help you, you gotta reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even send us the Seahawks. However you wanna get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to Seattle, Washington. And until the next video, We'll catch you later.